and Sneaker Life fam. It's your boy Jay Just. Hope each and every one of you guys is having a safe and blessed day. So guys, just a few things I want to talk about today as far as some releases that we will be getting for the year of 2024. And man, like, I don't know how y'all gonna be feeling about a lot of these releases, but listen, we about to get into it. So first release that I do want to talk about is these Air Jordan 13 Dune Reds. Now these are expected to release summer 2024. Now there is no retail price as of yet. And of course, you know, I've been seeing and even reading comments as to, you know, these being similar to the Air Jordan 13 bins that we got back in 2010. And I could definitely see that as far as, you know, just the colorway. I even seen that more people was calling these the poor man bins. And in my opinion, you know, this isn't, you know, I'm not gonna say it is a bad colorway. I just feel like, you know, it's kind of, you know, rare that, you know, and I don't wanna say it's kind of rare, but I feel like it's kind of a coincidence that, you know, Jordan brand, you know, did uh, put out a sample that CZ Sneaker has did post of the Air Jordan 12 bins. And now we get in uh, Air Jordan 13 doing red, which is resembling the Air Jordan 13 bins. I mean, listen, it's just a coincidence in my opinion, but I'm not mad at the colorway and you can expect this, you know, shoe to come in this color block. And as I mentioned, once I get, you know, a hint of you know the retail price and release date i will be sure to update you guys let you guys know on that but man let me know how y'all feeling about these air jordan 13 doing red next shoe that i do want to talk about is the air jordan 12 red taxis now come on y'all and i've mentioned it in so many previous videos jordan brand putting taxi on a lot of these names is what is making the taxis not drop now, of course, we had so many iterations of the taxis. We had the reverse taxis. We've had the black taxis. We've even had the royalty taxis. You know, of course, we had the original taxis from 2013, and now we have the red taxis. So in my opinion, I definitely feel like, you know, at some point, you know, Jordan Brand is kind of playing with us right now as far as not giving us that taxi colorway. Now I did mention that the Air Jordan 12 Royalties was the most, you know, similar colorway to the Air Jordan 12 taxis. Only thing is they just put gold on here, but minus the gold, even with these red taxis, minus the red on here, it definitely will, you know, just be a taxi, you know, making some minor adjustments. But I mean, at this point, Jordan brand, we just need the taxis. I mean, of course it's been since 2013, but I mean, we get in the, cherry reds later on this year and of course i would want to see the air jordan 12 taxi at least release some 2025 or so because man giving us colorways like these and this relates kind of to my last video that i did talk about with the air jordan you know prices going up and jordan brand giving us a lot of colorways that we don't want you know this is a perfect example of you know what i was talking about just in general, you know, this is a colorway that we don't want. Jordan Brand, it's time to stop playing games, man, and just give us what we want, which is the original Air Jordan 12 taxis. Listen, man, give them to us. I'm all here for it. But, you know, y'all playing games and y'all beating around the bush with these colorways that y'all been dropping, man. And to be honest, man, I'm not here for it. And I know 99% of the sneaker community can definitely agree and I'm not saying that, you know, it is a bad shoe. I mean, it is definitely a taxi just with a few minor adjustments. But in my opinion, I'm OG over everything. So I'm here for, you know, if you ever want to give us the original Air Jordan 12 taxis, man. Next shoe that I do want to talk about is these Air Jordan 1 Green Glows. Also expected to release summer 2024. Retail is $180 on these. Now, of course... Off-rip, 
these definitely do remind me of the Air Jordan green glows that we got back in 2013. And in my opinion, of course, it was on a totally different model, but the colorway is definitely what it reminds me of. And these also remind me of the Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens that we got back in 2020. Now, I feel like when it comes to Air Jordan 1 highs, it is a hit or miss nowadays, simply because the Air Jordan 1 doesn't have the hype and attention span that it had maybe a few years ago, which leads me to the biggest topic of this video. And I've spoken about this, I want to say either in 2022 or 2021, I believe it was in 2021, but I've spoken about this and I've told you guys to prepare for this, the Air Jordan 1 being the Jordan 1 High. Now, of course, I've said it so many times. Now, one Air Jordan 1 that I do want to speak about is these Air Jordan 1 Low University Reds. Now, of course, we seen these back in 2016 where it had that more varsity red on there, which was like a more darker red. Now, these have more of a lighter red. And I picked up these Air Jordan 1 low gym reds that dropped back in 2021 because I mean, you know, it definitely does have the same exact color blocking as these. And I mean, most people didn't go for these. And I ju it's just crazy because as I mentioned, it's to a point and to a time where most people aren't hip to Air Jordan 1 highs and most people have been hip to Air Jordan 1 lows. You know, I feel like more people that were, you know, rocking with the Air Jordan 1 highs have started to definitely, you know, buckle down and, you know, come across some Air Jordan 1 lows. And they have been throwing us some fire colorways. I mean, we had the Travis Scotts earlier this year. We have the UNC to Chicago's that we'll be releasing next week. We even got the Black Toe Lows, which are releasing August 4th. So, you know, we got a decent amount of colorways. And I mean, even look at the pair from 2016. That pair is literally, you know, I want to say 250 plus. And, you know, it's crazy because, you know, most people when they hear of Air Jordan 1 Lows, you know, just as I spoke on with the Air Jordan 1 Mids, you know, most people, oh, you know, I'm not a big fan of Lowe's. I'm not a big fan of Air Jordan Miz. But listen, a lot of these colorways do resemble some of the older models, which actually, you know, you'll be surprised at how much, you know, they go up over time. I want to say, look at the pair from 2016. I mean, that pair is definitely resembling the Air Jordan High 85 metallic reds you know so it definitely is resembling you know an og colorway and it definitely will you know be coming back and i mean this air jordan one low gym red is definitely following in that same you know exact category just a few different arrangements but i mean listen y'all a lot of Air Jordan 1 lows have been doing better than the Air Jordan 1 highs, in my opinion. And like I told y'all, the Air Jordan 1 low is the new Air Jordan 1 high. That's just how I personally view it. Like I mentioned, if it isn't a certain colorway or a shoe that most people been looking for, or even an OG colorway, I personally feel like it is not going to bust the way most people think that the shoe is going to do. So, I mean, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And with that being said, like I always say, you got your boy, Jay Just, you got the channel, you got my thoughts and opinions on these releases that we had for the year of 2024, and also the Air Jordan 1 Low being the Air Jordan 1 High, man. Definitely want to see your comments down below, man. Make sure to hit that big subscribe button as well. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to keep them notifications on, man, because some bangers is on the way as always. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Reach for the stars. Sky's the limit. And we out.